Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we show you how to service the fog lights uh, on this 2003 Subaru Outback. We show you both just replacing a fog light bulb as well as replacing the whole assembly if it gets broken at 1AAuto.com. We sell the assemblies brand new. And the only tools you'll need are a uh, flat blade screwdriver and you'll need a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter, either a wrench or sockets uh, with a ratchet extension. Okay, if you're looking to service the fog light on one of these outbacks, pretty easy. I'll come right back in here. On the back of the light, you'll see a little um, pin or clip here. Use a regular screwdriver. Pry the center of the clip out. And once you pry that out, kind of pull on it and the whole clip comes out and then you can take this panel and pull it out and down and you can now access the back of the fog light if you're just looking to um, if you're just looking to change the bulb grab the back of it turn it counterclockwise okay and pull it out and there's your bulb and now the bulb comes down there's a little tab on the connector Press that tab down okay. and then work the connector off, new bulb, put it back on, okay, push it in, make sure to push it all the way in until the connector clips. Okay. Then put the bulb back up in and turn it clockwise. Okay, if you're additionally looking to replace the whole assembly because it's been broken and there's a little plastic nut here, uh, use either a 12 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet or sometimes you can actually get them off just with your fingers. Now there are two uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here. You'll want to try and get some penetrating oil up in behind. Uh, you can also go in from behind here and make sure you spray the backs of the bolts. To remove these two bolts, you can use a wrench or a socket and ratchet. I'm going to fast forward here as I remove those two bolts. As you can see from that first one, sometimes they take a little bit of uh, force to break them loose. Uh, make sure you get that uh, penetrating oil up in the back side of them and you can probably let that sit for a few minutes to uh, let it do its work. Um, then remove both bolts. There's another connection point back in here. Sometimes you might want to disconnect this. You just press on a little tab and pull the two ends apart. Okay, the light from Moriano. It's going to go in just like your original. Feed the harness back in there. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you get this tab up here, hung up, and then this little stud should go through back here. Okay, if you do have the little plastic clips, you just hold the light in and push it on in the back, that kind of holds it in. Fast forward here again as I just start in those two bolts by hand and then tighten them up nice and firm with the wrench. Okay. Reconnect the harness. Okay. Push the shield back up in. 
push your clip into place. And push the center in to lock it in place. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.